And uh, then after I had done that, and apparently John Person had watched the show, and he gave me a call, and he says, you know, great, great that you did that. Uh, how about that uh, we um, get together, have a conversation, uh, talk about uh, the p person's pivots and uh, uh, one of his other um, studies, and then uh, I would be able to get a clear understanding of it. And I was really anxious to do that, actually, because I wanted to, you know, I know I presented it, and I kind of presented it at a surface level, and uh, I wanted to really have a better idea of how to use it. So uh, John and I had a conversation for uh, about 20 minutes, and he walked me through it, and I came away, I think, much more uh, well-informed. I'm going to share with you what I've learned and uh, some stuff that I think I'm going to implement on my chart. So um, if you go back to uh, September 2nd, you'll be able to watch the uh, tech tools on pivot points. Now, um, in, in the, on that day, I gave the formula for the regular pivot points, which give you uh, a, a pivot level and uh, two resistances and two supports. Uh, a person's pivots are different, and they're different in a way that uh, they add a another dimension to pivot points. Uh, rather than just giving you support and resistance, they actually give you a sense of market condition. And uh, the way that they do that is they build in a filter, which is a moving average. And essentially, when the uh, short-term uh, moving average is above the pivot, then you have a bullish condition. And when the uh, short-term moving average is below, you have a negative condition. And that essentially uh, creates uh, this sense of being able to understand the trend in the particular period that you're looking at uh, using the pivot points. He also has a another tool there, that's the PPS, you could see that on TOS, both of them on the platform, which is, it's a person's uh, a proprietary study, PPS, uh, it might be also called the pivot point study, uh, and uh, that's kind of secret there. You can see, you'll when I put it up, you'll see that there's moving averages there, but there's uh, buy and sell signals with little arrows that uh, he does doesn't really share uh, uh, what the formula is to that, but you know I put it all together, and I think it really is useful. The PPS is a momentum study, momentum indicator. So uh, with the uh, uh, added dimension on the pivot points, uh, which gives you a condition of the market support and resistance. That's the two things you get out of the pivot points, and a momentum indicator with the PPS. You have a lot of information using these two studies. So I got to tell you, I really like them, and I'm going to walk you through using them on three different time periods here. Uh, and uh, I think you will uh, find it interesting. Uh, now, you can the way the person's pivot work is that, um, and really any pivot, is that uh, you can set it up on a particular time period. And the shorter time periods, uh, you set the pivot on daily. I'm going to show you how to do that. Intermediate, you set the pivot on weekly. And the longer term kind of major trends, you set the pivot on monthly. Uh, so uh, let's look at this um, uh, before I uh, go any further with that, the shorter term trends are essentially 15 minute to 60 minute charts. The intermediate are like one hour to four hour charts. And the day, the, um, the longer term are daily charts. So the first one we're going to look at, which is basically for scalpers, shorter term traders, uh, is a 15 minute chart. Uh, and you can see that right here. Now, uh, you can look at this chart. I think it's really interesting. And uh, it's 15 minutes. And I, what I want to do is I'm going to go into edit studies that you can see right here. And you will see I have person's pivots on here. And I have the PPS study. Now, if you click the uh, little wheel there right over here, uh, you can see that this is set on day. Now, there are a lot of settings in here, two days, three days, weekly, and monthly. I'm going to use day, weekly, and monthly on the three different charts uh, that I'm putting up there. Uh, so I wanted to show you that so that you could see the setting there. So here is a 15-minute chart on gold, uh, forward slash GC, with person's pivots and the PPS, uh, the proprietary uh, person's proprietary study. This is a short-term setup. It's a 15-minute chart with the pivot set to day, so you really understand that. What it gives you is the pivot. Uh, which is the purpley line right over here, you could see. Here's your pivot. And it gives you a resistance level, which is the red, and a support level, which is the blue. 
And uh, as you could see here, this is a 15-minute chart. Really gives you a lot of good stuff here. Uh, as the uh, if if you, it's a little hard to see the arrows in here. There's an orange arrow and a red arrow. For me, I'd need to set it with red going down and green going up because I'm a little colorblind and it's easier to see. But here you could see very very nicely that uh, when the down when the trend was setting down, each of these uh, resistances was going lower and lower. So that was a good indication of the uh, of the condition of the market or the momentum in the market in there. And look at this, um, how many times this uh, gave you a very, very nice signal where it uh, gave you a sell here reversed, uh, right here also reversed to the downside. Here you could see it touches the support on the way down and bounces, touches the support. What does it mean if it's only touching supports? It means it's in a downtrend, so there's a lot of selling coming in, but good bouncing areas on these supports. Nice setup. Now you could see here a short-term trend change. That was my question in here as we see all of a sudden it's trading between the pivots and the resistance areas there giving you see these little buy signals let's get a little closer look there so you can see on the PPS those little buy signals right in here and uh, that's uh, nice right on the pivot points goes right up there to the resistance levels and then has been chopping around in there so here you can see on a 15 minute chart uh, person's pivots and the PPS actually giving you some really really nice signals you can't uh, deny that looking at uh, how nice that was now I'm gonna uh, move in to an intermediate uh, look in here which is the uh, uh, you can an intermediate um, the suggestion is you go from like one hour to four hour charts and you set it up the pivot as a weekly so that's what you have right over here and uh, so each of these pivots now is set up on a week and uh, you can uh, see that this is actually each five days long right in here uh, and uh, again you can see nice use of the uh, support areas on the way up good sense of this uptrend in here as the uh, supports and resistances continue to track up uh, right here uh, touching support here just getting above the support here just above the support so nice signal here a beautiful sell signal right here at resistance right on the close of that day and now the trend resuming on the upside again over there and uh, let's get a little closer look to where we are right now because you can see that what happened is is that we were trading through the supports on the way down here as we were correcting in the S&P 500 there's a change in here today and that is this buy signal came right there on the PPS now we come right up here to the resistance level. So that's a level that you would probably expect it to change. Now, once this day closes, it will establish tomorrow's uh, pivot and support and resistance. And my guess it will be a higher, a higher uh, resistance and a higher supports establishing a little bit of an uptrend. So that's a look at kind of an intermediate trend that would be kind of a swing traders look at it, uh, as I would put it. And uh, the next thing we're going to look at is something that I've decided to kind of fit in some of my analysis uh, with John's. And uh, I think that this is really a very, very nice look. Now, what this is, is a uh, mon a monthly setup. So the pivot is set to monthly and the charts are set to daily. I've also put in uh, my cycles, my daily cycles in there to get a look for how nicely or how poorly it, it worked. We'll take a look at that here and see. First of all, you could see this is a one year chart set up on daily. It goes all the way back to last October and uh, you, or September. And you could see this uptrend that was established in here. Now, these are each a month. So those are like 20, 21 days long. And that's trading days, of course. And you could see the uptrend get established here. You could see a nice touch of support as it was moving on the upside. All of a sudden, it started to not be able to get up there. So you got a correction. Now, uh, well, what I want you really to see in here is let's get a closer look right in here because I've added in these 20, uh, you know, basically 20 to 25 day cycles that keep re reoccurring. 
and uh, so I have the cycle marked off. You can see that there. And as the cycle peaked right here, nice sell signal right there, nice sell signal right here on the PPS. That gave you these declines in the cycles right here. And then it started to move on the upside again. So as it started to move up, look, touches the pivot. You get a little buy signal right over here, and then it starts moving up again. This one over here gets up close to the resistance and then starts to roll over but it gets even nowhere near the pivot once the cycle ends the boy is that ever a bullish indicator right there because it can't even get close to the pivot you get a strong rally in here it rolls over gets right to support nice touch over there can't get up to the resistance you get a sell signal right here and you get the big decline look where it ended excellent absolutely beautifully on that monthly pivot right there the next rally comes where does that end right on the monthly pivot on the top it comes down and corrects into the 26th day and look at the buy signal today right on the pivot point so man oh man i got to tell you that uh this is one of the finer combinations of signals that i've seen that goes along with uh my uh particular style of cycle trading so uh that's uh, a clear look at how you use it both on a short term intermediate term longer term gives you a sense of trend gives you buy and sell signals and uh i gotta tell you i like it